Hello friends, welcome to Derek Manasar YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about electrical power distribution system on board ship. How the electrical power distribution system? The basics we will be discussing in this video. So, electrical power distribution system on board ship is designed. Mainly it is designed to supply secure supply load with adequate protection both for the equipment and for the operating personnel. Once again I will repeat, electrical power distribution system is designed in such a way that secure supply to load and with adequate inbuilt protection will be there both to the equipment and for the operating personnel. In this way, in this perspective we build the electrical power distribution system on board ship. Here we will be discussing about auxiliary and emergent services are supplied by main generators for the auxiliary engines or, all, or auxiliaries or emergency services. Mainly energy power is generated from the generator itself, auxiliary generator during normal operation. But in the event of emergency only, this emergency services will be provided by the emergency generator. In the emergency condition, some emergency that we cannot surpass, that will be provided, power will be provided from the emergency generator. And main generator, directly it will connect to the bus bars and it will supply 440 volt supply will be supplied directly and 440 bar 220 volt via transformer and 24 volt via transformer and rectifier so DC supply here once again I say generator main generator is connected to the main bus bar supply line and via an air circuit breaker from the generator there will be air circuit breaker and then through that it will control the bus bar line from the bus bar it will supply 440 volt directly and uh, 440 volt 220, 220 volt via transformer and 24 volt via transformer and rectifier and main bus bar is connected to the emergency switchboard also via tie breaker because emergency generator is also connected to the emergency switchboard here the we can say main bus bar is connected to the emergency switchboard and emergency generator is connected to the emergency switchboard because in emergency it, it, it should not get tripped so that's so that's why it is connected it should automatically run in the case of any blackout main generator are connected to the main bus bar via air circuit breaker that i have mentioned already so we here in this electrical distribution system there should be connection to the shore supplies if we are if we need power demand from the shore we can also take from the shore supply that also we have made connection from the for the shore taking power supply from the shore connection that also there we have provided a connection arrangements are also made here will be next slide we will be saying the general uh, general diagram or typical electrical distribution system on board almost nearly almost all vessels are same some basics we will be discussing here that what i have mentioned three generators can be seen and in between the in between the generator and bus bar there will be ACB that means air circuit breakers are will be there from the bus breaker 440 volt supply will be going to then 220 volt to the transformer then 220 will be shut, step down to 24 volt then to, to for the transformer and rectifier through DC power through DC power supply and from the emergency generator there also it will be a circuit breaker and it is connected to the tie breaker in, in case it tricks it will activate the emergency generator will be activating then here we can see from the shore supply lane with the air circuit breaker and emergency switchboard lane also we can see for we can say here discuss of the tie breaker in case of any interlock why it is provided means tie breaker is provided in the bus bar means because interlocks are provided that power is supplied from only one source at a time because we cannot run from the generator and emergency generator at a old whatever at a time so we made this bus bar tie breaker so that one source coming at a time means main supply or emergency generator so that a circuit breaker of two supplies cannot be close to one you understand only one power can be if both get close means total blackout we cannot recover so if it one only one power coming at a time means if that got to break so we can open we can generate emergency we can work emergency generator by using this tie breaking interlock taking if it's not it is not possible because both will get so this is the basic distribution uh, power distribution system on board ship we will be coming with new videos thank you